Hey, brothers and sisters. I'm in my dining room, which um, <laughs> doesn't get any use anymore, except for when my friend uh, Elaine came to visit me uh, in August, right after my dog had passed away. Um, but the last time I had my family here was for Christmas in 2017. So I wanted to come on here to encourage my brothers and sisters who are my real family. I know I know most of us were looking for the rapture. We all have been um, persecuted, rejected, ignored, <laughs> ignored by our families. They consider us crazy. And um, I wanted to encourage you with a song that in Israel, Karen, Karen, K-E-R-E-N, dot w is her channel name she's already gone ahead and uh recorded her video but i wanted to tell y'all about it um you know here i am I, I brought this into my dining room in my dining room i have this uh world history chart and you know there's all these wars and rumors of wars and people that watch the news and everything and they're just like um troubled troubled and jesus said not to be troubled and so really, this starts out with, you know, the beginning of creation, Adam and Eve and Enoch and Noah and all the different people. And then it comes around and here's Moses. And y'all, God loves, he loves the Jews. He loves every single person, but he loves the Jews. There's my Bible. And then it goes around and it goes around. There's where Jesus came, you know, Jesus. And that was when he died and was buried and rose on the third day. And it goes around. And here we are, all these years of world history. And he says, he still knows you. He knows your name. He knows how many hairs you have on your head. He knows what is bothering you. He knows what sins that you're doing. Okay. And of course, my channel is all to try to tell people that um, you need to repent of your sins in order to be going in the rapture. And the good news is, uh, yesterday I put up uh, some community posts about divorce and remarriage, which is uh, usually my subject that I have to talk about because there are so many false teachers about divorce and remarriage on YouTube. They're in the churches, the churches are corrupt, and then they're um, on YouTube. It's like almost every day I... I, I Find somebody who's just done a video about divorce and remarriage and have t they've taught what uh, a church has written or a pastor has written. Um, John MacArthur, you know, he he's a false teacher. He teaches that you can be divorced and remarried. Uh, but the good news is that the Holy Spirit is moving on people. And um, I got a comment on one of the uh, community posts that I put up yesterday where she said that she had, she knew about the rapture. Uh, I looked at who she subscribed to. She subscribed to uh, rapture watching channels, but she's been divorced and remarried three times. And she, in November, left her third marriage. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to get, uh, get to her to uh, do a testimony video. I think that would be honoring to God as we sit here waiting for his return. But anyway... The Holy Spirit, he, will t he gives you all answers. He gives you all truth. And um, anyway, the uh, scripture that Karen used for her song was Psalm 19. But I, was, I had been um, looking at, and the way it worked for her was the same way it's worked for me before. It's where um, you just suddenly get the tune she already had from a secular song from Secret Garden, which is a cartoon, I think. And then um, all of a sudden she got these words. And I'll put, I'll put the link to her video in the description box and the words in the description box. But, you know, the Psalms are songs to God. And there's great doctrine in the Psalms. So uh, she was using Psalm 19, which talks about, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable to you. Let's see. I mean, really, it's just so wonderful. The instructions of the Lord are perfect, reviving the soul. 
The decrees of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The commandments of the Lord are right, bringing joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are clear, giving insight for living. Reverence for the Lord is pure, lasting forever. The laws of the Lord are true. Each one is fair. They are more desirable than gold, even the finest gold. They are sweeter than honey, even honey dripping from the comb. They are a warning to your servant, a great reward for those who obey them. How can I know all the secret sins lurking in my heart? Cleanse me from these hidden faults. Keep your servant from deliberate sins. Don't let them control me. Then I will be free of guilt and innocent of great sin. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O oh Lord, my rock and redeemer. So if anybody um, doesn't know about the divorce and remarriage scriptures, they're in the post that I put in, the community post yesterday. I put up two community posts, and I would love for y'all to look at them. And then uh, I had been, so Karen has been, <laughs> Karen was sent to me by the Lord when she was 16. And uh, I have been responsible for baptizing her and uh, discipling her. But she has her own salvation. She has her own faith. She has her own walk. She has her own fruit of the Spirit. We're supposed to test the spirits, right? And so she got this song. And I was look. I had actually been looking at uh, Psalm 36 and 37. And then, hmm, let me see where I can find it. Uh, and, and then Psalm 40. He has given me a new song to sing, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see what he has done and be amazed. They will put their trust in the Lord. Oh, the joys of those who trust in the Lord, who have no confidence in the proud and in those who worship idols. Lord, my God, you have performed many wonders for us. Your plans are too numerous to list. You have no equal. If I tried to recite all your wonderful deeds, I could never come to the end of them. And um, this is, we take joy in doing your will, my God, for your instructions are written on my heart. I have told all your people about your justice. I have not been afraid to speak out, as you, O oh Lord, well know. <laughs> you know, I know what my calling is. I need to tell people, wake up, church. Wake up. Yesterday, I, re I was going out and I saw a neighbor that I hadn't seen in eight years now, she and I used to go to Bible study together. Uh, I'd known her since my daughters were in seventh grade. Let's see, they were born in 88, so whatever that is. Um, <clears throat> but her daughter and I, we, we, her daughter and my daughters, we did a charity thing together, um, National Charity League. But, you know, she is divorced and remarried. So when I came to the knowledge that she was in adultery. I didn't tell her she's in adultery, but she knew by what I was testifying as that I was fighting being divorced and I was fighting uh, not divorcing my husband for his adultery. You know, she had married a divorced man. So it was convicting to her and she doesn't speak to me. But yesterday when I pulled out, I hadn't seen her in eight years and I was looking at her thinking maybe she wouldn't even wave to me because that's happened. My neighbors don't wave to me. <laughs> they think I'm, you know, some crazy uh, lunatic because um, I love Jesus. But she actually did wave to me. That was nice. But, uh, you know, I have put in gospel tracks in her mailbox. I've done what I can do. Anyway, um, so I have not kept the good news of your justice hidden in my heart. I have talked about your faithfulness and saving power. I have told everyone in the great assembly of your unfailing love and faithfulness. Don't hold back your tender mercies from me. Let your unfailing love and faithfulness always protect me. And, you know, the rapture is for the faithful. And here I'd written in that God did give me a new song to sing, Jesus, my Savior, um, on August 8th of 2018. That was sort of, I mean, I've on my play, I have a playlist of songs that the Lord has, has uh, given me to write, but please, Lord, rescue me. Come quickly, Lord, and help me. 
okay? And so we have a lot of people that we're praying for, but um, one of the things is that God, one of our spiritual gifts can be to write songs and sing songs. <clears throat> yeah, Deborah, sorry, got something in my throat, hold on. Deborah was a mighty warrior for God and also a judge and a song leader. So anyway, I'm going to sing the song and uh, then y'all can go watch it on Karen's video and she'll explain how, how it came about for her. Okay. Home, constantly longing for our home, counting every day as when Jesus might come. Home, this is what sinners call the earth. Where are hatred, diseases, and death? Clinging to this world, they don't want to hear it. After Jesus comes, we'll be too late to receive it. We will call him home. We don't care what I isn't home in any way. Home, home is where all the saints will go. They who live holy lives pleasing the Lord. My brothers and sisters going home, they have lived according their, they have lived their lives according to God's word. Let us talk of home, for we truly got it. We who kept ourselves pure for Jesus, our bridegroom, will be flying home, home to me. prepared for us, each of us his kingdom's heir. Home, now I can finally say I'm home, and to leave behind the life of tears and strife. Home, where we'll see Jesus face to face, and be given to eat from the tree of life. I have found my home. I have seen my prayers coming true. In the end, my race is won to have eternity with you. That's Jesus Christ. Our eternity is with Jesus Christ. If you know him and he knows you. Don't be a lukewarm Christian. Really don't. Because um, lukewarm Christians are not going to be going in the rapture. Use whatever spiritual gift God has given you for his glory. It doesn't matter how well you sing a song. You know, I hope that you'll learn to sing this song along with me. Um, it doesn't matter how well you sing. We're all going to get perfected bodies and voices when we get up to heaven. But it is important that your heart is devoted to the Lord. And that's what this song is about. Our home is not here. It's in heaven. Let me, um, also, I wanted to read this scripture. Um, this is in Second Peter. Growing in faith. By his divine power, God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. We have received all of this by coming to know him, the one who called us to himself by means of his marvelous glory and excellence. And because of his glory and excellence, he has given us great and precious promises. And the rapture is his promise. These are the promises that enable you to share his divine nature and escape the world's corruption caused by human desires. In view of all this, make every effort to respond to God's promises Supplement your faith with a generous provision of moral excellence and moral excellence with knowledge 
and knowledge with self-control, and self-control with patient endurance, and patient endurance with godliness, and godliness with brotherly affection, and brotherly affection and sisterly with love for everyone. The more you grow like this, the more productive and useful you will be in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But those who fail to develop in this way are short-sighted or blind, forgetting that they have been cleansed from their old sins. These are the people who think, well, you know, I've been forgiven, but I can continue in those presumptuous sins that were in uh, Psalm 19. And it is a presumptuous sin to think that you can continue in fornication and call yourself a Christian fornication, you know, sleeping around, premarital sex, or to be in divorce and remarriage and to think that God blesses adultery. He's trying to get people to wake up. That's not moral excellence to be sleeping with another man's wife or for to be sleeping with another woman's husband. So, dear brothers and sisters, work hard. It's not salvation by works. It's work because of your salvation to prove that you really are among those who God has called and chosen. You're not like the world. This world is not your home. You've been called. You've been chosen. You've been set apart to live, as this, as this song says, living in this world according to God's word. They've lived their lives according to God's word. Do these things. Don't be lazy, y'all. And you will never fall away then God will give you a grand entrance into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Right? Stand firm in the faith. And, uh, you know, Psalm, uh, 2 Peter chapter 2 talks about false teachers. And what do false teachers do? They tell people what they wanted to hear, what they want to hear. But read this. They're condemnate. They've been condemned from long ago, their destruction will not be delayed. False teachers, y'all, people who are doing these videos and saying that you can be divorced and remarried, you are a false teacher, and your destruction will not be delayed. Noah warned the world of God's righteous judgment. Okay? It's going to happen to those who are unrighteous, Okay, and there it talks about how God also rescued Lot. Y'all can read it for yourself, but he is especially hard on those who follow their own twisted sexual des desire and despise authority. Okay, you probably, if you're still watching this, you probably are already on Team Jesus and you're living a life of sexual purity. You read your Bible, you love the Lord, you're waiting for our rescue. But um, if you somehow came across this, this video and this channel, I pray that if you don't know the Lord, that you will repent today of your sins and decide that you're going to be completely putting them in your past. That is, that is truly following Christ. It is making a U-turn and saying, no more am I going to do that. I'm walking with Jesus, and I'm going to live like Jesus said to live which is not the way the world is going to tell you to live, right? So um, God bless y'all. I want to wanted just to say, uh, please check out also my Rumble channel uh, on Rumble. I've got videos that are about, you know, things, but really <laughs> uh, things that you can't talk about on, on uh, YouTube. But basically, I am still continuing to persevere and do my job and Obviously, when I saw this woman I hadn't seen in eight years yesterday, it was just a confirmation. Hey, Terry, you just keep doing what you're doing. And, um, you know, tell people the truth in love. That if you're divorced and remarried, you must repent and get out of it. Come on. Really, I don't want you to be left behind. Divorce does not end a marriage. Only death or rapture. Check out my community post. Love y'all. Maranatha.